It's night music. Starring David Sanborn, Jules Holland, and the Sunday Night Band. Tonight's guests, Betty Carter and her trio, Branford Marsalis and Willie Dixon. Welcome to what we like to call our, our frenzy, our, our vortex of music and love. Uh, this is Sunday night, and uh, this is my erstwhile co-host, Jules Holland. Ersting away. Ersting away. Are you ready for that big... I don't want applause, no. I just want to have confirmation that you're ready to join us in the frenzy, the tunnel of frenziedness, musically speaking, that we're about to go down. Will you join us? Yeah! Good. Oh, All stuck, raving you've got, mad. <laughs> you've got them disciplined, Jules. So, um... It was my birthday last week. I hope everybody was aware of that. Well, did you know that? Yeah. Good. They're all shouting. None of them have got me a gift. David, have you got me a lovely uh, gift? As a matter of fact, I did get you a gift, Jules. I got you my, my entire CD catalog. Oh, that's... Isn't that... Like, and, and, that's and... I already have these, of course. Uh, well, I hope so. And also this autographed uh, Oh, that's uh, a fantastic look. Myself. It's just like you, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that like... Wouldn't, wouldn't you like something like that? I, I, I thought you would... Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They weren't too shy. I think that's really kind, really super, really human. Very yes, you. Yes. Thank you for being you, David. I think that's welcome, more, that'd Jules. be more of a birthday it's, gift for me. Um, and of course, it's all I could do. I think we should give him a mention. Our, our visiting musical director, Mr. George Duke, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. yes. <laughs> Your agent's in again. <laughs> I always say that. So, um. Uh, have you got me, um... So, George, have you got... <laughs> so, have you got me a, uh, a, a birthday gift? Well, yes, as, as a matter of fact, I do. I've and, always uh, liked that George Duke. But, but just before I give it to you, have you heard from Marcus recently? Marcus Miller, our regular, um, erstwhile, uh, um, musical director, is returning in two weeks, and so we won't be needing you anymore. Um... Uh, thank you. He's like that at Christmas with his friends. Anyway, I think we should explain who the guests are this week. I, I, think, we, and I think we should also mention that all of the guests on the show tonight are, have been nominated for Grammys. That's the sort of guest we uh, have. Yes, that's, a, that's a, the caliber <laughs> of the guests we have on the show. What's a Grammy? One, <laughs> one, one, of the, one of the few people who can truly be called a jazz singer, Betty Carter and her trio. Yes. <laughs> and... Math organ virtuoso, Mr. John Sebastian. And a saxophone player who's equally at home with jazz, rock and roll, and classical music, Branford Marsalis. Our first guest on this evening, however, is Mr. Blues himself. His songs have been performed by Elvis Presley, Otis Redding, Peggy Lee, and Ike and Tina Turner, the Rolling Stones, loads of people. He has written and produced a myriad of blues songs. Please welcome Mr. Willie Dixon. I 
John Sebastian, I'm so pleased you could join us, and you have played um, a uh, mouth organ once or twice before with us. That's Were right. you excited about this particular show? Yes, I was. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, they called up and they said, uh, now, we have to warn you uh, that we can only pay scale on the show. Mm. And I didn't really tell them that the fact was, they could have called me up and said, uh, John, we can't pay you any money. You have to go into a room where there's a guy with a helmet on who gets one shot with a two by four, mm. and then you can play with Willie Dixon. Mm. I would have said, fine, I'll do the show. Yes, I go with that. You can, you can come on any week. Yes, right. we've got, uh, George Duke does that actually in the, in the room. I say that, I take that back altogether. That's exactly, and you can play with him again later because um, Willie will be with us. But for now, we have our next guest. She has sung with Dizzy Gillespie, Lionel Hampton, duetted with Ray Charles, Carmen McRae, Please welcome a truly enormously talented jazz singer, Betty Carter. Yeah! Full of fun, seems to be the
Familiar tune, right? Right. Well, this, uh, please welcome our next guest, Branford Marcellus. Branford. It's a pleasure to have you here. Man. Great to be here, man. Now you've been on you've been on the road with Sting for like the last 15 years yeah. or so, right? About that. About that, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, 15, now, 16. Now I know you took breaks from it occasionally to like uh, do your own your your own thing with your own group. You yeah, know? I was on the first two. On this two, I just stayed with it yeah. because it's too hard to, to, to separate the two. Yeah. Is, was it hard switching idioms? I mean, going Completely. from like... Completely. It's impossible. Yeah. I mean, on, the, the first, on the first tour, the, the, the thing that I lacked was the intensity. Uh -huh. to, to on play, the Sting Tour. On the Sting Tour. The first Sting Tour. I didn't have the intensity at the beginning to play those souls. Like, you know, um, it's like the, you know, like the novel versus the sitcom thing. You know, like yeah. in jazz, you get to like play a little bit, then you establish a melody, then you come back to it later and you build and build. But in this, it was like burn, baby, burn from the first, because you only got 15 seconds, so you might as well make the most of it. You got to make the most. You got to tell your whole life story in those 15 yeah, seconds, right? So it was yeah. like, you know, I had to learn how to do that. And then uh, when I went back to playing jazz, the thing that drove me crazy was how much dexterity and control of the instruments that I lost from, like, playing those little sporadic moments and the rest of the time, you know, getting down and dancing and stuff. Show business stuff. Show business mm -hmm. stuff. Stuff. <laughs> Stuff, yeah. you know. Not to, not to mention all the, 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 the dynamic level just came down. Yeah, right. You know, I didn't have, like, my ears weren't ringing. Yeah, right. You know, on the jazz <laughs> gigs. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah. But, uh... Yeah. I, I know about that. You know, I know about like that I, stuff. I gigs. Like, the first, yeah, after the first time I started doing jazz gigs again, it was so sad that I was terrified because I thought it was going to be like that, like, forever. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, you want to play rock and roll, huh? Fingers freezing up. Like, when, once I realized it was about six months later, it gets cool. I said, okay, fine. So this time, I was prepared for it. We do gigs, it would be sad. I say, well, folks, it's going to be sad, but, you know. See, so, so just, so just endure it, right? Yeah, you just hang in there and laugh with it. You got to laugh with it, man, or you cry, you know. That's so. right. <laughs> now, the sex song, the, the song we're going to do actually uh, came about today. You know, yeah. it wasn't the song that we rehearsed, but. We rehearsed one tune. Right. You know, he said, "Well, and we we started playing this thing. Well, actually, George Duke, the great George Duke, legendary George Duke. <laughs> George started playing this vamp while we were like setting up, and we started playing on the yeah. vamp. It was me, him, and Omar, mm -hmm. right? Because like uh, Tom over here, he busted up his bass, so he was fixing it. So we just started like <laughs> we started uh, <laughs> We started just playing a tune, and it, was, uh -huh. it got good. It was swinging, you know, medium tempo thing. And yeah. I said, yeah, this, this is nice. This is a nice little izzity here. So we said, you know, we should just play this instead. And like, you know, we had a little strife amongst the core. You know, they kept saying, well, you practice this tune. We don't know. How do we know it's going to, like, work yeah, out? Right. I said, well, trust me, you know, we it's, do this all the jazz, time. Right? This is jazz, you know, it's freedom. Like America, it's freedom. It's you know? That's right. It's what it's supposed to be, right? So, you know. Uh, we, we, we're gonna, we're gonna play it. All right. And the name, we named it, we gave it a name, right? So mm -hmm. if anybody wants to use this, I mean, me, George, 
Omar and Tom wrote this song. So if y'all want to use it, it's called Let Freedom Ring, and y'all gonna have to pay us a hell of a lot of money and royalties. So I'll let you know that. Yeah. All right.
That's our group. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now, of course, one of the most difficult things to do, any great songwriter will tell you this, is to write lyrics, to actually be a poet. And that's, that's what you are, really. What do you, what do you look for in lyrics? What do you, how do you approach lyrics? Well, frankly, the blues are the facts of life, and it's very easy to write the blues whenever you're thinking about the true facts of life. So that makes it easy. Just, well, <laughs> if only it were. <laughs> you make it seem easy. Now, I, lots, of, lots of people have covered um, many of your records, I mean, endless lists, but one that always struck me as interesting were the Rolling Stones. Did you ever, did you ever come across the Rolling Stones? Oh, yes, many times, you know. I was in England long before they was grown and had the Rolling Stones, <laughs> when they had this in their minds, you know. Yeah. When they had this in their minds, what they was intending to do was do a lot of the songs that we was doing over there, Memphis Slim and I. We went over there to promote the blues. Mm. And when we got over there, they wanted some of our songs, so we put them on tapes and, and records and things and wrote them out and gave them to them. Tell them, all you got to do is do it and put my name on it. <laughs> <laughs> and did they, and did, did they come and visit you eventually? Oh, yes. Uh, well, I couldn't remember all of them, naturally. <laughs> but uh, when they got back, to me, there was kids at first. When I got back to me, they had hair all on their face. <laughs> I didn't know who they yeah. was. I could tell some of them. <laughs> One of them, uh, this long job in Baldridge, he was taller than the rest of them. And mm. He's still taller than the rest yes. of them. Yes, in many ways, yes. Well, I, I thought, uh, yes, I go with that all completely. Well, I think, ladies and gentlemen, another song from Mr. Mr. Dixon is what's in order at this point. Um, is it I Don't Trust Myself now? Yeah, I Don't Trust Myself. Willie Dixon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
Music Air Networks. 大人の音楽専門局ミュージックエアネットワークジャズロッククラシックとさまざまなジャンルにわたり実力派アーティストが続々登場ライブコンサートをはじめいろいろな角度からスポットを当て大人が楽しめる良質な音楽をお届けします大人の音楽専門局ミュージックエアネットワークにご期待ください Music Air Networks. Once again, joining us is、uh, Betty Carter. Betty, it's really a pleasure to have you on the Thank show. Thank you, David.、Yeah. It's really nice to be here. And I got to tell you right now that one of my favorite records of all time is the, is the record that you did with Ray Charles. Well,、oh, I can t e l l that's everybody's favorite. They keep reminding me of that. <laughs> now, how did, uh, how did that uh, all come about? How did that I worked with him in、uh, uh, doing some theater tours、uh, about the、uh, late 50s and early 60s. And in Baltimore, he、uh, asked me to do a recording with him and shocked me. Well, you, you were playing with Miles Davis before, isn't that?、Uh... Well, what Miles did was get me on the, in the theater with him earlier.、Wow. And he had a booking agent、uh, that was Billy Shaw. And Ray Charles was Billy Shaw.、Wow. And I got with Billy Shaw through that, you know, through that arrangement. So that's how that all happened. And, and you, you played the Apollo、like, from 49, 1949 to 65.、Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and I, you told me about、uh, some people you played with in 1965 when they closed. 65 closed with、um, T Bone Walker, John Lee Hooker, Muddy Water, Sonny Terry, and Brownie McGee, and Bo Deadly and me. And you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's, a, that's a heavyweight <laughs> show. <laughs> Now, I know you, you, write, you write a lot of your own original material, yeah, and this next song we're going to do is a song that you wrote. That's right, right called Tight. I think、right. a lot of people are familiar with that one. Yes, called Tight. I am、yeah. one of my favorites. Okay, great. Okay, please do it. Okay, baby. What? Two, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
Yes, thank you indeed, Mother. So, welcome back to uh, Sunday Night, where we put music on the television that you would never normally see. And I think it's important that we give that to you, isn't it? I think it's a good thing that you... Yes, and talking about giving, I think it's a good time to return to the fact that it's my birthday, which it is, and I explain that to everybody. Have uh, got any more presents for me, group-wise? Lovely, uh, enchanting, Hiram and Omar. Happy birthday, Jules. Oh, that's really kind of you. That's, you know, that's so nice. It's so... Don't you think that's, that's when oh, people Jules. get together and show a bit of love? For you, babe. What is it? <laughs> it's a sort of gaily coloured... What is this? It's a, a guitar strap, Jules. Oh, how really thoughtful. Nice. I, don't, I don't actually have a guitar. Or you play don't it. have a guitar? No, no. Well, wait a minute, let me... Yeah, if, if, well, if you don't mind, I mean, no, I, I'll can you. That's, that's really kind yeah, of you. Thank you. Right. That's really right. lovely. Oh, thanks. Again, happy birthday. Oh, you're oh, I, Omar. He's, he really is. I searched all over town. For the this man, man, as far as oh, really? Oh, uh, oh, careful, oh, oh I'm careful, sorry. Careful. It's not, not a pet. Very is it? special. Very it's special. Not, not a pet. Oh, it's it's not a football. Please let me. I think let it's me, a piece of clothing. Let me help you. Let me help you. Okay. It's you, Ben. Oh, Jules. It's a look. That's um, fantastic. I won't try and mask my disappointment. No, 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 no. So you don't understand. This is Big Joe Turner's last dinner jacket, man. My goodness. Very my goodness. Special. I'm really touched. I am thrilled. Suddenly, something that I thought was useless is the best gift Big Joe Turner's dinner jacket. All right. Isn't that lovely? All right. It's like sort of White Christmas or, 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 or one of those Christmas films. I'm all teary. Well, it's, it's, there's a bit more fabulous blues footage now, which incidentally has Willie Dixon playing the bass, but we don't actually see him in it. But rest assured, he is there. So now, Sonny Boy Williamson and Keep It To Yourself. How right. kind. That was so kind. And thank you. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's got to be keep it to yourself. Don't 
tell your mother, don't tell your father, don't tell your sister, and don't make it to your brother, please, darling. You just keep it all to yourself. Uh, I don't want you to tell nobody, and don't make it to no one else. talking that going to mess up our life, please, baby. You just keep it all to yourself. Do that for me, darling. Don't make it to no one else. No, so not to... even to thank the guests. So it's so thanks everybody and. Uh... Right, Jim, where's the song? Nice, no, no. 